Welcome back to the Wenzilla Reboot. Today, Samurai Lord Draken. Something, uh, something, a character that was very, uh, crucial into me getting healthy. Actually, this character, mostly because I had to lose a bunch of weight so I could wear the helmet and be Samurai Lord Draken. The first one, when we did some work with, uh, Boom Studios, and it was the first, it was the cover at Denver Comic Con, um, because I've already did, uh, Draken before, and I was, you know, like the kind of size I am now, but to lose weight and get healthy and be healthy and comfortable. Anyway, Samurai Lord Draken. And that's what we're doing today. I got the pieces in from Tim Bree 3D. Um, by the way, the head is different. I had the first helmet ever made, uh, Samurai Lord Draken helmet ever made. So as you guys can see, you see the spikes? There's not more of them. They're just spaced out different, and the edge ones are a little bit bigger. So then we've got some black that we're going to add around there. So this is what we're starting with, okay? We're starting with this figure. Boom! It's a dagger, too. Which I think he carried Saba, but whatever. It's going to be my version. Also, I'm just going to keep the cuffs like this and the boots and everything. The boots, I believe, were like black and green on them. So I'm going to do the boots in black. I think that's what I wore. I don't remember. I'm going to have to pull up the picture and... Look at this guy. Right. So then we also got the shield. So we got so he's considered e evolution one, right? Evo version one is what he's considered. Even though I would think it's uh, evolution two, because Evo version one that'd be your first evolution. I don't know, but whatever. So Samurai Dragon, that's what I call him. Dragon Samurai, Lord Dragon Samurai. If you haven't read the story, check it out. Anywho, boom. This is from Mr. Tim Bree. So it's already cut on the sides. It's already cut in the back. I'm going to add a little bit of heat before I put this on. He also came with a belt. I might just keep this belt just because I like this material a little bit better and I won't have to reattach this if I want to slide Saba or the dagger in there. So for anybody who's going to say on Instagram or wherever, that's not Evil 1 exactly. Listen, it's my version of Evil 1. I was Evil 1, okay? I was Lord Draken, Samurai Lord Draken. So... I can do whatever I want. No, so that's what I wanted to do. So we're going to pop the head off. We're going to take the shield off. And then uh, soft goods. So for the soft goods, I was thinking like I got this cheap thing. I was thinking like something like this. But I'm not sure how it's going to look as opposed to paint. So that's why I've been waiting to do this figure because I want to do soft goods. But I don't know how this is going to look in picture. I think it'll be fine. So, but this is mostly going to be for up here. So I want, I'm going to try to do soft goods. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to film it and show you guys how to do the soft goods. I know I've been saying I'm working on a soft goods video. I do have a project that I want to do a soft goods video for. So if you hang tight, I will put one together. It's going to be a lot of filming and explaining because I'm still learning how to do I'm not good at it. I'm just trying it out. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm not a pro customizer, but I do want to say a disclaimer. If you're getting anything from Tim Breed, Mr. M. Breed, um, Tim Breed 3D, I'll put everything down in the description. That's the name of the company. company. Tim M. Breed is the owner. So, if you guys are getting stuff from him and you have not done customs a lot, I suggest you don't do it until you've tried a few things because it's more. it's not for a novice customizer. Maybe like the head and you can swap out the head, something like that. But when you're starting to get into the shields and some of the cuff work and the joints and how you have to heat things and move things around, be very careful. Expect things to pop or snap or whatever. Just repair it. It's it's part of the process. So they might not move and they might not articulate that well. So me knowing that going forward, Draken articulates pretty well considering he's fully armored. But he already can he already articulates really well. Like as far as because of the way that this is made out of. So I'm adding a shield onto this that's a little bit harder in plastic because it's custom and they don't make it like this. So I'm adding onto this already and he's not gonna be he won't be able to articulate as well. We're probably get some cool standing poses and I just want it for me for my collection so I have this character in hand. I'm sure they'll make one down the line. I'm sure it'll be an exclusive, but I want one now. And my buddy Tim sent over the pieces, so and he sent them over a while ago. So whatever he has now is better than this. Okay? So this might not look pretty. It might not be perfect. But the ones he has now, I guarantee, are ten times better. This is so good. The detail for the extra belt. Like, when I had to wear this shield, it was very uncomfortable. But to get this all perfect and right, there's going to be some whites that we're going to use and stuff. Really cool colors that pop. So 
like I said, adding soft goods because I already know articulation is going to be limited, right? So we're going to add the soft goods. And then for the black, I'm also using the same stuff, I believe, on the Bad Batch because they're the only Star Wars that I'm actually going to keep. I just got like this sleeve thing I wore. And it's got dirt all over it. But yeah, I was just going to use like some of this for the pants because Lord Dragon has have these. He's black down here, pants, and white going up on the shirt. Anywho, I'm going to start cracking on this, cracking away at it, and then at the end, um, give you guys a little breakdown of it. And toy photography, as per always, toy photography. Let's do a video on this. Let's get him going. See, see, yeah. So the strap broke, but we're gonna make it work. Luckily it's on this side. I probably will attach this. I probably won't paint this fully until I have it all attached once it's on the figure. Good news is it's gonna make it easier to put on the figure because uh, we have more space now. Didn't want it to happen, but uh, when I was pressing the gold marker on there, it snapped. So that's why I had all the pressure. So, and yeah, then some of the green and stuff, we're gonna have to take our own liberty and kind of it's not going to be exactly like exactly like the shield but we're going to take a little bit make it look as close as we can it's just it's this is a lot smaller and you wouldn't be able to fit everything if you if you did it any other way so we're going to try that out so for the final breakdown i know the video got a little bit weird and once i broke the shield i you know kind of left off from there and just did it all on my own after that it took me about uh month or more to finish it because i put it to the side once the shield broke so yeah just uh check out what tim embry has at tim Bree 3d to see which stuff you want to use now like i said before and he does a really good job in making it to where the details are pretty close pretty exact now a few things a little bit different about the helmet and the shield and this and that but this is the route that i wanted to go with the uh, gray knee pads he usually has the elbow pad or the arm it's like an elbow pad armband thing but i didn't put that on there i this is just the version that i did and as far as the paints go for the green citadel this green right here and then that was my base and then i used the uh, metallic also so gold i used the gundam gold pen for my black i used these the base black and then uh, for my red, used this Citadel first. Then I hit it with the Tamiya gloss. It's like a clear Tamiya. It's a clear red Tamiya. I like it a lot. I know a lot of people don't like it because it's alcohol based. Just you don't have to use this, but you can use a metallic red wherever you want. Just get that shine on the visor. And then for chrome, used this chrome pen right here. This isn't the normal brand I use, but it's what they had on Amazon. 
so I use this. But any 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 of the brands are pretty decent. I I did make sure that it was just as good as the these guys are here. The Matolo, Matello, whatever, however you say it, Molotto, Molotto. So whatever chrome pen you want, work out just fine. So I think everything turned out really good. And when I was outside, it got a little bit dirty when I was doing some outside photos. So I am shooting this portion of the video last. So I'm actually gonna have it edited and up today. So you guys, this is what it looks like right, right now. But yeah, I think it turned out really good. And so here he is on the back. Looks pretty much the same all the way around. I did use, uh, I believe it was a SPD belt buckle thing like on the back because uh, I remember when I had mine done I had like something like that on the back you don't really see the back of Samurai Lord Dragon but I wanted that little piece I don't know I just liked it like that just give it to a little bit more space too, a little bit more wiggle room when you're using soft goods you know stuff gets a little bit tighter so yeah I think it all turned out really well I'm pretty happy with it and I can't wait to put this bad boy into my collection. So thank you all for watching and remember, be kind to one another and here are some photos. I didn't do a whole lot of Draken photos, but here are a few. Um, yeah, I just want to get this guy in my collection to be done. Finally be done with this one and I do have some uh, cool Power Ranger stuff coming up this week or next week. I'll have the video up. Um, something different, something cool, something I'm going to mix in with my uh, Lightning collection. And I think that uh, you guys will really like it. And I hope everyone uh, reaches out to the company that sent me the cool thing that I'm going to work on. Here are the photos. Dragon. Lord Dragon. Oh, God. <laughs>